Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Play-Ins Final Phase. We've got Andy Davo with his Red Orcs versus Lock Ragen with Blue Dwarves. Andy Davo's got two Guard Biggins, I think. Yep, yep, a Block Biggin, a Guard Blitzer, two Guard Blitzers and a Frenzy Blitzer. And uh, Lock Ragen has... Four guard, uh, yeah, two guard blitzers, a guard, two guard lineman, um, a mighty blow lineman, which I'm not a fan of, and a mighty blow troll slayer, and he's got two runners total. And there you go. And in the booth with me is a very special Trend. returning. <laughs> yes, you got your name right. Yes, <laughs> the return of the potato. Amazing. <laughs> I know the potatoes come out of hibernation finally. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious. Back from the worst state in America. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> there you go. I guess I guess Florida might have something to say against that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got food poisoning over the holidays from a kebab at Universal Studios. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Still recovering. <laughs> Still recovering. So yeah, pretty good. Blood Bowl three. Return of the potato. Yeah, yeah. It's good that you're recovering. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is this is Blood Bowl three. So this tournament. It's good this because you know some people might not have seen any of this tournament, even though there's been a million games. So it's like a NAF style in that we had about eleven fifty, I think, to buy our team. What's NAF? Uh, tabletop. Basically, they're, okay. they're like an organization that run tabletop things. Okay, Don't really okay. do a lot, but you know. So you get 1100 to 1150 to buy your team. And then like different teams got different amount of skills. So like some people took Imperial Nobility, even though they're a bit rubbish because they got extra skills. Um, mm -hmm. Orcs are one of the best teams. So they, they got like six, I think. I think six. Yeah, yeah. And Dwarves also got six. So they've both taken good teams. And then, like, six skills, any any normal skills they wanted. So, like, you know, generally people are taking Guard and Block and Mighty Blow. Uh, Davo's taken Frenzy. I don't hate it because, um, like, you know, either you take... My, some people took a Mighty Blow and some, and some a Tackle. Like, they took one Mighty Blow, one Tackle. But I prefer Frenzy that just kind of does both. So I actually quite liked quite liked the Frenzy pick there. And obviously it's a meme for him. Yeah. Okay. He did follow Oh, there. man, it's been so long since I've seen Blood Bowl. This is interesting. Yeah, it's going to be hard for you to tell what everything is, I think, right? It's all new models and that. So, um, mm -hmm. this, 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 this thing here, right? Uh, they've got yellow, bright yellow for blitzers, and then dark yellow for blockers. <laughs> Oh, that's what... Okay. <laughs> not not the best decision they could have made, is it? You know, they could have made it a bit more distinct, but they didn't, so... Yeah. So you can do that, so you can see what positions are like that uh, by pressing Z. Oh, they've even changed it. It did say W, now it says Z, so, you know, you can see the different positions. It, like, when you're playing, if you're not sure, you can uh, you can check to see. But uh, it's, it's a bit messy, right? So it's not something you want to have on all the time. And uh, Yeah. They've got new skill icons, but I've got a mod that replaces the new skill icons with the old icons. So that will make it easier for you. Okay, so basically I need to mod my Blood Bowl 3 before I play it, is yes. what I'm hearing. <laughs> yep. And turn your graphic settings down so that it looks better, which doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> and what I do is, I've got it right, oh my god, the worst thing about Blood Bowl 3 is every time like you stand up a player or make a move or a block, oh my god, Devo just started with a 1 in 81. And knocks himself over. He did a blockless blitz. Uh, a blockless blitz. A blockless blitz. Artemis would be going crazy now. What a what a terrible move to do. Like it's genuinely <laughs> terrible. Like it is. There's no. You know. I know it's a meme to laugh at Artemis, but that was terrible. Like why would you do that blitz? Terrible from Davo. Did he did he move that middle block guy? I don't think he did. Did he? I don't know. I mean, but he could have just assisted and, and blocked with block. Like, yeah. yeah, he's got a blitzer right here. It's so weird that he just did a blockless. That's terrible. I mean, that's terrible from Dave. Oh, yeah. Why did... Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, or like do it with the do it with a troll or something. I don't know. It's just really weird to do that blitz. <laughs> what about I the would have, <laughs> I would have blitzed with the troll personally because that's just more entertaining, and I would have gone right for the center. There you go, straight in, <laughs> straight in. That is a bit more dangerous now. Fouling's got a lot better. Um, yeah, it's hard to explain, I guess, because there's no sneaky git. There's, you know, do you, do you remember sneaky git? No. No, because nobody took it because it was terrible. But now sneaky git is like the best skill in the game. So you'll see a sneaky git dirty player on pretty much every team, and uh, everyone fouls all the time now. <laughs> is that the one where you it, the skill like makes fouling have a better chance, right? Yeah, yeah, kind of, more or less. Yeah. Okay. It didn't used to, but now it makes it makes you harder for you to get sent off. So now people just foul constantly. Mm. They take it on gutter okay. runners. They take it on the literal best player in the game. <laughs> and they just give them sneaky get dirty player and use them to foul because it's that powerful. Oh, wow. Yeah, really crazy. Is Lock Rage in there? Oh, he seems to be there, yep. He seems to be there. That was a long time. So, oh, so this is the new the new turn times, right? He's got nice dice, hasn't he? So everyone's got like, you know, oh, they've got, they've got this feature that I'm using here lets you turn off their actual colours, right? So you can see there, they're, the dwarves are black and green. They look actually quite good, the black and green. Quite like that. Black, green and pink. They look pretty cool. And uh, the orcs are blue, but what you can do is you can press a button and it just makes your team red and the opposing team blue. No, it makes your team blue and the opposing team red. So yeah, I, that's, I just, that's how it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just leave it. I just leave it on blue and red all the time, and never ever use the customization stuff. <laughs> and uh, as you can see from these these little fellas, there's like there's player customizations as well. So Dave has got uh, got fire heads. You know, pretty nice. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. She is served. She will be a service. <laughs> <laughs> I, forget, oh. I forget what it, I forget what it is in the. Oh yeah, the under the table. Yeah, <laughs> the table. High table. High table. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I got there. <laughs> yeah, got there in the end. <laughs> Hello, chunts. Don't let them suck you back in. It's true. It's true. Oh, but honestly, I, I, it's funny because uh, PC is doing a uh, all world, all no, all world one blood ball. What the hell? One world, one blood ball about uh, you know re recommending blood ball three, and I'm like, believe it or not, I would recommend blood ball three now because I've done it. I think I think this is uh, I think it's okay now, provided you put in the mods. Turn your graphic settings down and use an auto clicker to stand players up <laughs> and move them and block <laughs> things. <laughs> You'll have to send me your mod list then. I will do. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got yeah, it. It's, it's, it's in chat here. But I'll, uh, I'll. What I was gonna do? I was yeah. gonna make a video. I was gonna make a little video where, like, I uh, I show people, you know, um, <laughs> to get the OP auto clicker and then how to set it up and. <laughs> use it oh. to make blocks and stuff <laughs> okay okay yeah my game's at 90 percent my Whoa. first launch of blood bowl is almost here <laughs> Whoa, how exciting i mean it's not really but it would be good if it was wouldn't it <laughs> mm -hmm. it's it's playable it's it's okay yeah honestly it's 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 acceptable and it's got the point where i think it's time for me to do it like you know my guides and everything and and try to Try to do my part to make it as good as it can be, rather than just going, oh my god, this is terrible, I want nothing to do with it. Which is what I was like for ten months. <laughs> ten months. Acceptable. That's high praise. That's high praise, Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 look, look, honestly, it's the auto-clicker. I literally did some testing, um of troll vomit which was a bug nobody had discovered in 10 months and uh so i was doing this testing and it was so bad doing it without the auto clicker it was unplayable <laughs> yep yep <laughs> uh, good 
funny. Your jokes aren't funny unless you laugh at them as you're typing them. <laughs> yes, thank you, Trent. That's what I say. All people say, like, oh, people have a go. Well, not all people. Some people have a go at me for laughing at my own jokes. And it's like, yeah, of course I think I'm hilarious. Like, well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to laugh, aren't I? Is there skill-based matchmaking? Uh, not really. Not really. Mm. Uh, so. No, but yes. So when you start, the first time you ever play the game, there's an element of inexperienced matching. Because everyone who first launches the game starts in bronze. But if you play it a bit, you will get to platinum almost guaranteed. People with a 30% win rate get to platinum if they play enough. Well, well, well. Yeah. I gotta set the bar lower than that, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You got you gotta work to it. <laughs> and because all that so the only people in like bronze are people brand new to Blood Bowl, like sub thirty or sub thirty percent. So if they're sub thirty percent, you know, they're pretty terrible. And uh if they're new to Blood Bowl, they either just win all the games like Dimmy did, or uh and J five is doing, or and he will do. Or they will uh they will be terrible and you know, probably play two games get frustrated at clicking a million times and quit forever. <laughs> now he's blitzing with a troll! He's learning from yes. Tren! <laughs> yes! <laughs> there you go! As he should. <laughs> there you go. Andy Davo, renowned as one of the greatest tabletop players, <laughs> making the same decisions as a literal potato. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. <laughs> That's interesting, though, isn't it? Interesting that he went for that. I, I guess, I guess after the uh, after the first blockless block failed, he just thought, "Yeah, let's go for a troll." That's Moving weird. him would have been better there, besides blitzing him, right? Yeah, he should have just blitzed with somebody else. It was crazy blitzing with a troll. <laughs> this was just, like, so the the thing about blitzing with a troll is like it's got mighty blow, right? And it's a three dice block, and he's got mighty blow, so you might get lucky. But it's uh, it's like it's risky, right? Now he's just put these guys in. They're both going to get knocked over. He, he can chain this guy in. Maybe, no, he can't. But he, he can stand on the ball, right? He can he can ball pressure. All sorts of things he can do. Do love a good My bit of ball pressure. My game just started. And why do they have the volume set for like a hundred? Oh yeah. <laughs> when you're game opens for the first time my ears just got blown out yep the funny thing is i don't think oh maybe they did maybe they did finally fix that so um what i'm not sure like i can check here you know what what we had to do was um on the oh you've also got to set the um okay so there's a few things oh my god there are actually a few things <laughs> so on write the, that down write that down <laughs> yeah yeah Okay, so they did fix that. What what happened was there was a there was a bug where, when you opened the game, it was on max volume. Oh, you can do it. You can chain yep. this one. You can just you can block this guy. You can put guards in here, chain this guy, and up where you own. You can one D the ball. You can no, he stood him up. You can uphill the ball. That's all. Um, you can only uphill it though. Right. So anyway, um, there was a bug when it first came out that um, the. You know the in-game volume slider that you can turn down? You couldn't turn uh -huh. that down when it launched. <laughs> so it always <laughs> launched max volume. So we all had to adjust the volume on like the uh, the volume sliders, right? And then leave it at max volume, but then turn all of the volume of Blood Bowl 3 down due, like with your volume mixer. But they, they, finally, fi they finally fixed that bug. <laughs> And, no. uh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that that's a little thing there, and there's another thing. There's um, Ooh, it's jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. There's a there's an uncapped frame rate, so you have to use you know um, whatever that thing is that there is, uh, Nvidia, oh, just set it. whatever. Yeah, you have to you have to manually cap the frame rate yourself because they don't. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, and it's just it's pretty terrible. It just goes at like you know, Blood Bowl will just go at like a thousand FPS and stuff and mess up your computer and that. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Make a video, Jim. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, I should. I should. I should write all this down. I'm. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. Uphill on the ball isn't so good, right? You could uphill him to maybe double power him and get a one D on the ball, but he's got to stand this guy. He's using. Oh, and so another new thing here is. You know how like you had two minutes for your turn or whatever in Blood Bowl 2? 
Um, yeah, that was new to me when Blood Bowl 3 came out. So is it you have more time? Or how does the turn timer work now? Um, so, yeah, you don't have those 30 second chunks. You know, like how you had the 30 seconds to like follow or whatever, choose where to where to push them and whether to follow. You lose the 30 oh, second yeah, chunks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you lose those chunks. And then what you, and also your time ticks by during animations, your timer goes down. Um, but it is a bit faster to play. And then you get this time bank thing here up at the top left and right. So as you can see, Dave O's got seven minutes, just over seven minutes left. Lock Region's got just over six minutes left. So every time you go over your allocated time in a turn, that ticks down until eventually that runs out. And then once that runs out, if you go over your time, your turn ends. Mm. So and we've seen okay. that happen a couple of times. You've seen in this competition, no, no. Yeah, two times, I think, in this competition, people have used all of their time bank and then run out of time on, on key turns. Looks like okay, so there's no more of like holding people in games now with like animation time, just every single animation waiting for it to go down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that. But then there okay. is this. There is the extra seven minutes, so it's yeah. You know, it's still there's still quite a lot of extra time. Um, okay. Seven and a half minutes. So there's like 15, 30 second chunks. But yeah, it's it's not as bad as it was. It's quicker than it was. It looks like Devo might scoot up the field here because there's a lot of dwarves on this side and uh, a lot of orcs over here. So I think he's going to push forward and the dwarves may struggle to uh, keep up. Yeah, the time bank when people time grief takes forever. Yeah, like, you know, the, the first turn they're AFK, it's like 10 minutes you've got to wait. <laughs> so it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. So, yeah. I think he's going to have to GFI here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's going to have to GFI with Mr. Throw. And, oh, uh, man, that's a word I haven't heard in months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to double GFI. Yeah, GFI. He's going to double Let's GFI. go! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Nice little box. It's a perfect five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to see you're just as good at counting as ever, Trent. <laughs> Wait, there's six. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, uh, <laughs> Mr. Throw. And, and oh, wow. So he's getting lucky, though, right? Dave has got lucky here. He's made two stuns. And then so these dwarves are going to kind of recover, going to struggle to recover and, and apply pressure. To this uh, to this cage, but I mean the two stand ups are decent, right? And you can you can chain one there. You could actually double chain, you could triple chain. Uh, he hasn't got the players. If you had loads of players here, you could like block this guy into him, uh, or into him, into him, into into there in the ball. So I guess that's why you put that guy there to stop this guy getting chained. So that was pretty smart of Debo, to be fair. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've, I've got to do I mean, a little bit. I mean, it worked against me. It worked against me. I didn't see that middle player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the great things is now you can press Q and E to rotate the camera. So it's yeah. much easier to just like, you know, just give it a flick, check to see if there's anyone hiding behind the big guy. The Inarian strat, not as strong anymore. <laughs> you can always... <laughs> I mean, it worked against me, so... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. On what? So the biggest change? <laughs> the shit commentary. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I remember my Blood Bowl memes. <laughs> I might not remember how to play, but I remember the memes. <laughs> yes, glorious memes. So that was good, wasn't it? That that follow up gets him the two dice here, and then uh. It's good, good. To, Lock Region's playing better than Dave or so far, definitely. <gasps> he can one day him. He can hit the ball, maybe. No, he can't. No, he can't because he's got the guard. But still, getting this hit in, he can 2D the troll if he wants. And he can get stuff back in front as well. Really nice. Um, so the biggest, the biggest difference in play... Well, two things. One thing is there's a, there's a passing stat now. 
and it makes passing is loads, loads worse now. Oh, he just puts the guard in for the 2D, yeah. The guard in there is way better than around the back, right? So it's a really good, really good guard position. Um, yeah, the uh, passing's way worse now, unless you're a thrower. Throwers are still, like, about... Throwers are a bit worse at passing, and everything else is much worse at passing now. Um, mm, but the, okay. biggest, the biggest thing is people can use multiple re-rolls in a turn. There you go. Oh, so you could use like all your rerolls in one turn and then just be dead. Exactly. Gone. Yeah. Or save Amazing. them. Amazing. Yeah. Or save them for like a big, a big breakthrough turn or a one turn touchdown. You know things like that. So what you often see now is people conserve their rerolls until like late in the half, and then they'll like you know use all three rerolls to like do some crazy sacking play, or all three rerolls to do like you know an amazing breakaway play. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this tournament, I started. I started talking about it, Chunty. Yeah. I started talking about it. I said it was an F style <laughs> with the skills. And I was like, "What's that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I stopped. But how? So what it is? This is. It's very. It's a very cool tournament. This has reinvigorated Blood Bowl Three, really, because like I started playing to enter it, and then I was like, mm, "It's all right, actually." And a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people that you know came back for it, uh, like Cruz and stuff. So what it is is um, two people from Ladder which was Crystal Hunter and Artemis. They qualified, I hate this Blitz because it's a frenzy trap, but he, he got the POW, so it's okay. I would have blitzed the uh, Blitzer behind for just a guaranteed non-frenzy like non trap hit, but I mean, this is better payoff if he rolls the POW. Um, so the two, the two top ladder was Chunter and Artemis because nobody had less of a life than those two, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so they got one and two. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Artemis captain no life at the most. <laughs> and I think Chunter was like, you know, a close second. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so those two qualified automatically. And then what this is, is this is the play ins where they got 56 people, 54 people from the ladder, and two people who qualified by winning a NAF tournament, uh, which, as explained, also oh, their resurrection as well. So the, the key things about the NAF is it's low, it's low TV, about 1150. You get a set number of skills and injuries and stuff don't carry on from games to games and um, SPPs don't carry on game to game, right? So you just you use this team for the whole tournament no matter what happens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of nice then. Yeah. Um, I mean, you were top two. You were both top two, Chun. Uh, let's let's not pick hairs on who was first and who was second because it was top two qualified, and basically, it was a it was a bit of a three horse race between those two and Diamed, and then Diamed lost a bit, and then obviously neither of them played because they were both top, and then so they they got first and second. Uh, it would have been really hard for anybody to be good enough and work hard enough to to out qualify Chunter and Artemis. Basically, like Diamed had too much of a real life. And uh, Mr. Page wasn't good enough, basically. That's that's basically how it goes. Um, oh, we've wow. got a chain here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so not being mean or anything, it's just just it's true, right? Like that they're, they're both good. At, they're both better at blood ball than, than Mr. Page. They're both better at blood ball than Mr. Page. Um, and like you know, people, other people, it's just so it's going to be so hard to outwork Chunder and Artemis, right? So like people, maybe people didn't try. Uh, maybe some of the people didn't try it. Diamond did his best, but couldn't do it. Um, so we're running out of time again here. Dave was a bit of a slow player. He's eating into that uh, eating that time bank. Might just score. No, no, he doesn't feel the pressure to score just yet. That was I big, think, yeah, big I think stun. that's safe. Not scoring. He, he just literally couldn't. I agree. I've, re I've realized he just I literally. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> I've realized he literally couldn't because Mr. because Mr. Throw is so slow. <laughs> Um, oh, he's one in nine again. Oh, a blockless block. So, how many rerolls do you get? Is it still three, or is it more? You can go more now, um, because rerolls are better, right? Being able to use multiple in a mm -hmm. turn, so rerolls rerolls are better now. Um, so anyway, so to get back to it, it's really hard to explain these play-ins. So, so those two are qualified. They're in the final 16, okay? Chunt and Art are in the mm -hmm. final 16. And then 56 people are playing to get into the final, to complete the final 16. So these 56 people are playing for the last 14 slots. And we've got okay. 11 of them have already finished. This is the 12th. 
and uh, oh. so yeah, so this it's nearly wrapped up. We've, we we know we know like uh, we know twelve of the final sixteen already. There is a small is it, bit of controversy um, about another one. <laughs> is it a double bracket? So there's like the winner bracket and then the losers bracket. So they all play against each other, or is this like the loser of this is just out? Very interesting. Thank you very much. Great question. So it was half double elimination. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd hold it together after that. <laughs> it was it was half double elimination. Okay, so so the first what round. What is half double elimination? Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, this is bad, right? He's not standing. He's not safe moves first thing here. Um, so the, they had the first round. Everybody played everybody. The twenty-eight winners mm -hmm. pl played each other. The twenty-eight losers played each other. The, tw mm. the people who lost two were out. The people who won two got a bye. And then you had... Oh, okay. Yep. Then you had the 28 one and one people played each other. And the 14 people who lost were out. And the 14 people who won were still in. And now... Okay. I, okay. Yep. And now we've got the final. So Davos won two games. Lock Regions won two, lost one. If Davo loses, he's out on his first loss. Which oh. is a bit shit, isn't it? It's a bit shit. Yeah. He's gonna feel bad if that happens, but um, you know it's the so same this is for a high everyone. Game then, right? yeah, very high stakes, yeah. And then there's wow. five thousand dollars total of prize money in the last sixteen, which is going. Good. <laughs> 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 I, I, I thought it, but I didn't want to say it. That. I thought no, it. First half. Yeah. Yeah. No, I followed. I followed all of that. That made sense to me. Oh, brilliant. I. I am well accustomed to uh, tournament logic. Game logic, not so much. Fantastic. Everything about games, though, got it. The game <laughs> itself, not at all. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's in a good spot here, Logridge, and the problem is he's, he, he's not getting at Davos balls, is he? That's the problem. <laughs> Can't get his... He's just got to get all up in there. <laughs> all up there. <laughs> He's got to, yeah. Like the, there, he's just dangling the ball out there. Why isn't he push it up? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's the thing. So he's got to. He's got to get around, and he, he's not going to get ball pressure this turn, I don't think. So you know, like it, 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 Devo's got a free turn of stall coming up, and then oh, he's doubled down with his runner. Oh, a blockless block. Yeah, it looks like a free turn of stall, I think. For, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like it. They're so slow, he probably had to do a dodge from somebody to get more pressure because looks like Devo can stall here and then Dwarves probably won't score in two turns. So, looks like a successful five for... Successful five? Successful drive for Devo, um, despite being very, very scary for him. With that five uh, five cage, you know, around the ball. Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It looked it looked five really five on the drive. <laughs> five on the drive. It looked really scary for him at one point, but I think he's done just about enough somehow. Somehow, very sloppy though. Very poor, poor by you know Dave all standards for sure. Uh, so far. Could that um. He could get a potential blitzer in to hit the ball. Here, couldn't he? Um, so it's Devo's turn. So oh yeah, sorry, sorry. So we don't know. Move, we yeah. don't. We yeah. don't know how it's going to end. Uh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong <laughs> pieces. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might have done. I might have clarified. <laughs> it's not that easy. He's, he's thinking now: is can he actually stall? Right? We can, we can look at it from uh, the dwarves' point of view and have a better look. Right? He, he could one dice off. He's only got one reroll left, and like. It's pretty tricky, right? He could just stay where he is. If he stays where, if everything stays where it is. He's probably safe, honestly. I think he'll just stall. I think he will risk a stall. I think I think if he just everything stays where it is, I just don't see like, you know, move the ball up there. I just don't see anything being fast enough to get to him. Like he could uh he could blitz the big one and get a, a guard in there and block him. What's the movement for dwarves again? Is it three or four or five? Four, or four, seven? Yeah, yeah. Four, four okay. It's four, five or six. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the long beads here are movement four, 
Uh, the Blitzers are movement five. The Troll okay. Slayer is movement five. And the Runner is movement six. Yeah, this is what he does. Exactly the move that Jim said. Four. So good at Blood Bowl. Because th this, this was dodgy, right? This guy could have dodged away and uh, come around. Uh, oh, he's Frenzy, though. Oh, he is Frenzy. So that's uh, that's giving him the three plus off. So he's going to have to score. His, his Frenzy has fucked him. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so a three-turn score for Lock Rage. R R Lock Rage has got a chance, right, with a three-turn a three -turn score. He's got half a chance to get back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, EAB is no more, right? EAB died. EAB is a hundred percent. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, may he rest in peace, <laughs> not peace. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, but it is a tragedy. It is a tragedy that uh, that EAB is no more. To be honest, like it, it's an actual tragedy. I'm not even joking. It's like, man, EAB, what a legend. <laughs> but yeah, you know, obviously, if an uh, BZL thought it wasn't worth wasn't worth keeping him alive with uh, Blood Bowl two being you know effectively dead now. That's that was the saddest thing. Yeah. You know you've 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 mostly missed the the collective mourning of the Blood Bowl community where <laughs> where Blood Aww. Bowl two you know we, we we lost Blood Bowl two and and didn't get Blood Bowl three because it was rubbish. <laughs> um, but Blood Bowl three is kind of playable now, and you know this tournament has been has been great to to the, you know be involved in and cast and everything and it's 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 getting there right you turn the graphics down you use mods use an auto clicker so you don't have to click for 30 seconds to stand your players up which has happened on stream by the way which is pretty bad isn't yeah, it this looks this looks good to me uh this yeah. looks much better than what i remembered Blood Bowl 3 looking like so yeah yeah it, maybe it, maybe it was good that i took a little hiatus yeah, yeah, great, great play. The the best play of all of us. <laughs> but like, you know, Chunt... <laughs> Who's the real smart one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Chunt has stopped, Nick stopped, Elliot stopped, Rick stopped even, like, low, you know, I stopped for 10 months, like, we all, we all just pretty much just gave up on Blood Bowl 3, but, um, yep, it, now, now it's, uh, it's getting there, it's getting there. There's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so, yep, not bad. I think Lock Rage will be pretty happy with this. It was a shame that he, he doubled down with the runner, right? Because he nearly got to this with three rerolls. And if he had three rerolls and three turns, oh. Instead, he gets shit on. <laughs> a deep kick. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so they've changed some of the kickoff results. So, you know, like perfect defense just let you move everything. Um, now, solid defense only lets you move D3 plus three players, and you only get to move open players. So you can't like move, you can't like move the three players on that side of the LOS to the other side of the LOS kind of thing, you know. So it it, it does make perfect defense a lot worse. Um, okay. But you know it's still crushing, right? It's still crushing being able to move five big ones in. Oh yeah, orcs are a bit better because black orcs is they used to be with movement four, right? And now they're movement five. So orcs are pretty ridiculous now. You probably didn't even know about big black orcs with movement four, did you? <laughs> No, nope. <laughs> I don't remember much about Blood Bowl besides uh, it's a game and it's on football field and there's fun things that you can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. It's yeah, it's a solid day instead of a perfect day. And why, why, why I know you'd, <laughs> you'd prefer a perfect day. A solid day is still nothing to be sniffed at. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, Jam Toast, you quit. You ruined your neighbor's life. Oh, you taught him Blood Bowl. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. You've got him Why in for life. Why would you life. do this? <laughs> yeah, you've got him <laughs> in for life. It's an addiction. <laughs> it really is, yeah. God, I know I've bloody been addicted for. What, how long? 34 years? Well, no, 33 years. Ugh. My entire... Wow. My entire adult life and most of my child life. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
It's a lot of blood. You've been playing Blood Bowl longer than I've been alive. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nearly a decade longer than you've been alive. Yeah. (laughs) That's a lot of Blood Bowl. Jesus. I mean, to be fair, I hardly played it, right? a lot of Blood Bowl. Yeah, I I hardly played it from uh, between 90 and 94. Hardly played it. And it was a different game then anyway. So it's it's more like 29 years. (laughs) <laughs> and then and then on tabletop, you know, hardly played it. I really only started twenty in two thousand and seven when I, I started playing on Fumble. And uh, you know, um, because I only got introduced to Blood Bowl by uh, Art God, actually one of my moderators in my channel, and he and it, like was like, "You gotta play this," and I was like, "Okay, fine." And now everyone I talk to who's like, "Oh, what games do you play?" and I'm like, "Blood Bowl," they're like, "Oh my god, you play Blood Bowl?" Like. <laughs> people that I meet in real life are like, why, how do you know this game? Like, <laughs> why bizarre. do you know this? <laughs> That's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That is bizarre. Fuck me. Yeah. I didn't know Blood Bowl was that popular. Or maybe you're just yeah. in the wrong circles. <laughs> <laughs> I must be. But no, it's been weird. Like, everyone who I, like has asked me uh, like what games I play, and I will mention Blood Bowl, they're always like, Oh yeah, that's the Warhammer 40k game, and I was like, "Why do you know this? Uh-huh. You don't play it. Uh, why do you know it?" <laughs> that's wild, isn't it? Yeah, so it's actually a lot po- more popular than I think the active community, you know? Yeah, thinks, realizes. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? So they really have dropped the ball, making it to shit then, because there probably was money they could have made from like, oh my god, selling it and selling customizations and stuff. That that frenzy trap was a bit shit, right? Because he should have just moved this guy in before he did the frenzy trap, and moved this guy to wherever he's going to move before he did the frenzy trap. So ordering problems for Lock Rage in there, he's just not moving him at all. Um, Is he gonna throw it? I would throw it. That sounds fun. <laughs> throw it. He probably shouldn't throw it. Do it! <laughs> throw the ball! <laughs> <laughs> He's probably in the correct square here. It's rough. It's This is so rough. But it was a big Kaz there. So now Devo's down to 11. He's got no Apo or Devo. So, you know, he's down a blitzer. Not the best player, but he is down a blitzer. So he's got to field Mr. Throw in the second half. And, uh, you know, he's free rolling now, Lock Raging. He, he might, get the, might get the touchdown. What I would do, run that ball up a little bit, make a little pass, hand off to the other dwarf, and just run him down. You gotta take a risk. <laughs> you gotta score somehow. <laughs> you do. That left side of the field is looking pretty nice right now. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. He's like, but I was gonna say Davo's gonna deal with that, but he's not. He's just gonna block before he stands players up. I mean. Once again, terrible. It's great how Art always says this, and I'm always thinking it's a bit harsh, but it's, it is terrible. Stand your players up first. You know, these guys are not dodging, so work out if they're blitzing or not and stand them all up. Like, if that's a... Okay, it's unlikely it's a 1 in 36. But, like, dude, you've got to just stand your players up. Dude! <laughs> Another block of this dodge! He still hasn't stopped them up. Oh my god. <laughs> Blockless dodge indeed, yeah. That's really I weird. I Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe he's going to blitz with a trolley. But still, stand oh, the other guys it. up. I love it. <laughs> now he's making a blockless block without standing his players up. Funny, it's funny, you know, I said, I said, uh, before this tournament started, like, you know, there was a thing about cheating and stuff, and I said, um, you could have, oh, well, there we go, like, somebody absolutely terrible at Blood Bowl sat in a Discord call with you saying, stand your players up at the start of every turn, and it would, it would improve everybody's play, and, and then we watched Strider, and he just continuously did it. And Strider is one of the best players on tabletop, one of the best players on Fumble, won the Super League, uh, which is a big thing. Oh, he just didn't stand them up. Okay, so he's not standing them up. I think that's terrible when you're trying to stop a two-turn stall, but at least he didn't stand them up at all. Um, 
Yeah, I know sometimes, right, Chunter, but if you're not, you see it all the time, you know, you, like Art screams at a guy, he says, move this skink over here, for, do that first, and then they make like three or four blocks, then move that guy to the exact square that was the, they were always going to go to, do you know what I mean? And it's like, it's wild, and, and literally, if Strider had had somebody in his, somebody on a Discord call saying, do safe moves first, he would have played loads better than, than one of his games, I can't remember who it was against, but... And you know, and Dave all the same, right? Like already, we've seen him do a blockless block with a. Uh, Is there a reason? Well, first off, I wouldn't have made that block. I would have ran the ball up and done my amazing play that totally would have worked first. But <laughs> is there a reason not to stand those players up? Um, just because they just get punched. They, just because they get punched. Now, I guess he thinks the dwarves are going to struggle so much to score anyway. He's gonna, He's not going to get them punched. Um, because then they can't die, right? Like, so you, you know, if yeah. if you stood them up, they would get like this one would have got hit with mighty blow, right? And then this one yeah. would have got hit with 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 not mighty blow, and then there's a chance they die. So he he's got the equity of them not getting killed, um, but then he's lost them getting the way and stopping the score. And you know, like it's it's not too terrible, you know. Again, like art screams at the people like they're unbelievably the most stupid person on earth for not doing this and there is a payoff to it but it's pretty greedy right it's pretty greedy that the chance of him casting these orcs was really small and extra bodies in the way would have helped so i think you just do it but there you oh. go he just rolls an instant double one an instant double one <laughs> so Davo was right because there was absolutely no chance of the dwarf scoring <laughs> yeah i was gonna ask if there was a chance but that just uh cleared the air that <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it was really hard. He, he had to dodge with a with a runner and double GFI, and yeah, it was it was tough. But it would have been tougher Anything if he'd stood this possible. guy up. Yeah, it would have been Anything so much harder. Possible. Well, look, yeah. you can see how it, right. He would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. That's what he had to do, which was a three, two, yeah. two, which isn't that crazy. And if he stood this guy up, it would have been a, a four, three, two, two. So it adds a four plus, and that's why he should have stood it up, right? But. He did, you know, there was a lot of other dice to do as well. So it's it's understandable, but it's greedy. And uh, mm. and honestly, Devo does tend to be greedy in, in big games. I've noticed that specifically. Uh, in Ladder, he plays like, you know, just like myself and Artemis, you know, like totally sensible, just win the games and stuff. But wh when it comes down to Chalice every season, he was just started like being super greedy to try and, uh, you know, like like he had to get lucky to win. Which was weird because obviously he doesn't have to get lucky to win, but that's how well, he tended to play in the chalice. And you said the injuries don't carry on in this tournament, so I don't. In my mind, I don't see a reason not to stand players and risk taking an injury, since in the long run it's not going to affect you. It yeah. might just you might just get one, but it, like affecting your opponent, I think is better. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean the dice have worked out that it was right, but yeah, I, th I agree. I think just like it's generally worth it. The the problem is, of course, that there is like the whole of the second half and overtime. These games go to overtime because we we require a winner. So um, mm. you know, there's potentially a full match of blood ball to be played. He's already taken one cas, so if he takes another cas, you know, it's it's pretty. It does pretty so pretty much if he takes another cas. So he really doesn't want to take. Oh another cas. yeah, I miss I missed that first casualty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess there's no there's no sideline then. They don't have any extra players since it's so low TV, right? Yeah, generally people go 11 or 12 and and then maybe have an apple. Uh, like I had dwarves. I had 12 dwarves with an apple. Um, and then, but you'll see like a lot of like, you know, dark elves will have 11 players in an apple or, or they'll have 12 players. And like... Uh, What's it called? Lizard men will generally have like eleven players and an apple, stuff like that. It's it's rare that you get twelve players and an apple. And I think Davil just didn't have an apple, so he only, you know he had twelve players, and he's lost one. So he's you know things can happen. Yeah, exactly. He's not like he's jeopardizing us. Like it was really low to get cars, so it was like it was pretty greedy. It was pretty greedy, <sighs> greedy in a way, right? Like yeah, he, he didn't do his absolute best to stop the score. And so, I don't know, like, I don't know. It, it, it's, it is hard to say it was objectively wrong because he did get payoff from it, right? So, but I think it's probably right to, to stand them up there. But it, it, I would have know. stand them up, but I'm also terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we all know I'm bad. <laughs> yeah. I just pretend to be good, but... 
<laughs> I'm the best Blurble player that ever was. <laughs> yeah, honestly, really good for the amount of games you've played. Though that that is not true anymore. <laughs> you did get no. very good for the amount of games you would played. <laughs> you did get very good for the amount, like really good, incredible for the amount of games you'd played. You got. But now, of course, that I remember when like you stopped for a month or two and you came back and you were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so oh my goodness oh my goodness Devo the luckiest continues to be the luckiest man in the tournament he, uh, he, the first match he made 10 casualties the second match he, uh, he made 14 removals and then now he's got a pitch invasion 3 players stunned and uh, you know this is absolutely terrible for, it, for the dwarves now the dwarves are just battling to not lose 2-0 at this point absolutely horrendous Absolutely horrendous for the dwarves. Horrendous. <laughs> A perfect Welsh accent. A dodgeless <laughs> blog. A dodgeless blog. Yeah. Yeah, three guard players. Yeah, not just three. Three of his best players. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Nightmare. Um, probably punter. Yeah, this. See, they're going quite slow, right? This is this is forty-five minutes already. Um, if they get finished by half seven, then I want to do Boapif Cruise live. I don't know how free you are, Trent, to do any replays, or if you if you want to do replays or other games after this. Um, this is probably <laughs> yeah, that, that should work for me. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, that'll work. Glorious. So, um, oh, actually, the re the replays are a bit, the replays are really fast, but maybe it's Boopif versus Cruise if it's live. Um, We'll see, we'll see. It should, it should be good. Oh, wow, he makes a big block. Like, this is when he's terrible, right? He's just got to pull back. He's just got to pull back, and uh, it's just... Oh, he's, he should have pulled this guy back already. Oh, he's not pulling them back. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Uh-oh, Jim's getting upset. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's tough, though. I can understand him. He should have pulled this one back. But um, I understand him not pulling them back. He wants to protect the stun players. And if he pulls this guy back, then, you know, it's just like he's just going to blitz this guy. But he's blitzing this guy and coming through anyway. I think this guy had to come back to here. This one probably is okay staying there because they're further away anyway. And he is protecting this guy from getting based. He could have even gone forward one. So this one... Does he have someone okay. near the ball? Yeah, yeah, he's got... It, only near because oh, okay, the okay. ball was right in the fucking corners. We couldn't even pick up the ball. Oh, yeah. It's a nightmare. This is a nightmare for the dwarves. This is... So unlucky. Is, are dwarves bad at picking up balls too? They're, they're, they're off. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't say that with a straight face. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, but as soon as it came out, I was like, wow. <laughs> they're, they're, they're okay ball handlers. <laughs> <laughs> They've got sure hands. <laughs> so, so. Ooh. <laughs> they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, he's going all the way to the sideline there, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's um. a really big reach around he's at. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Oh dear. Do you know what? I think he misplayed by the way last turn. I think he should have double GFI'd because he's got a to he's pick got up a, the ball? Yeah, yeah, he should have GFI'd pick up, get off mm. the sideline because he's got a double GFI this turn as well, right? One, two, three, four, French five, kick. six. G Fantastic. he's got a double GFI this turn. If he double GFI'd last turn, he would have been here and got the ball safe. So he absolutely had to double GFI last turn, so he has misplayed there. I'm sorry to say a lock region. But you know, it's a it's Advice, isn't it? <laughs> Using that forever in the comedy room. Yeah, it was, it was great. That was a Sorry. great one. <laughs> Part of it is I haven't been around Blood Bowl, so it's just funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man, I was going to... 
Oh, if you pick, so in Blood Bowl 3, if you pick up the ball, can you pass or throw it? I thought that you can't, right? You can. So also, these things, can, these, okay. these numbers at the bottom, um, they've, they've, idiotically, you have to, you have to declare things now. So if you want to pass, you've got to press four before you do your turn and then like select that you're doing a pass and then like, you know, move and throw it and stuff or pick it up and throw it. It's really, really, really terrible. Really terrible. It's not over yet, actually. Honestly, look, he's, he's got a screen. He's actually got a screen. It's not over yet, but yeah, it's looking like it's over eventually. Yeah, it's it's so rough for the dwarves. This is so rough for the dwarves. <laughs> Relatively clean. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I tell you what wasn't relatively clean. The bloody lethal company. Why? 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 was just stood there and Fimea started crouching and then he was like, he made some, he made some sound effects and he was going backwards and forwards. And then after he finished, he's like, right, Dimmy, now you do me. <laughs> and then Dimmy did. <laughs> Oh my god. Brilliant. <laughs> Huge KO, yep, yeah, that helps. That helps. I don't know where his blitz is. You maybe don't make one, right? It's so terrible, but maybe you just don't bother blitzing, like I one D blitz him. He's got a one D blitz here. Or he could have put the guard in and two D blitz. One D blitz then run back is the play here. There's not a really good way to protect the ball here, right? Oh, oh yes! It's not yes! bad. Yes. Uh, he has to go across. I the ball was going over the side. <laughs> yeah. I this mean, that's still terrible, right? Because he can just blitz that side player and then get all all up in his business, right? Yeah. 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 I guess he does. So I guess he doesn't Ooh, the want to. Is... Oh, yeah. He's done one. I guess what he doesn't want to do, right? He doesn't want to put him out of the sideline because then he can get blitzed onto the sideline, right? If he moves him into Chun's yeah. column. Oh, that's new. Art's new thing, by the way. He calls this Chun's column. <laughs> because <laughs> it started off ruder than that, but uh, but I changed uh. it for YouTube because um, so it was it's it's called that because it was called Art's original name for it because if you get knocked down, the ball can go in the crowd, and then mm -hmm. we needed we needed a uh, a more suitable for work name for it. So then Chunter did. Chunter kept putting his players in it when he was playing and Art was going nuts. And I said you should call it Chunt's Column and he liked that. So yeah. <laughs> Chunt's Column. So yeah, if he'd stood in Chunt's Column to like, you know, that's better as as as, as Chunter said, that would have stopped coming down the sideline and that would have stopped this blitz. But if he did stand there, then he could have got blitzed onto the sideline and then he's taken out of the game and it's terrible, right? So now now at least yeah. if he gets blitzed he can maybe come back in the games so that's why i didn't do that but there is a one two three four five six double no so he's, he's the double g if i did make it safe from him um one two three four five six seven eight yep and safe from him as well so pretty pretty good from lock region lock region playing pretty well and dave was down to 10 players so it's not over it's really not over he just needs to rotate over to the right here doesn't he yeah yeah now, now david can, yeah, yeah david just gets in front of him like you know a drive from dwarves, like a normal drive versus orcs, where orcs get in your way, is hard. And now he, he's on turn two and he's deep inside his own half and his LOS is nowhere. You know, like it's, it's, this is horrendous. This is going to, he's going to have to play really well lock region from here. Is this a uh, half where you would start thinking about if you can score, just going into try and get it done absolutely yeah absolutely this is yeah you know your tournament life is on the line here you have to score and you you don't get the uh you don't i mean you're you're just happy to score at any point on this drive yeah 100 percent. like over the moon if you can score i'm i'm at this point i'm just thinking oh my god i've lost and i'm feeling very dejected that i've lost already <laughs> yeah would you go for that blitzer on the right with the guard here i'm assuming uh, you may it's hard because everything everyone's so slow, right? This guy limps behind, yeah, only four squares. Oh, true, true. So, There's not really a good way to protect the ball here. No, it's, there. It's really I good. say actually, you go to the left here. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe, the play. <laughs> maybe you have to, yeah, maybe you have to because he's got two on one over here. Yeah, fake to the right, go to the left. That's <laughs> I'd probably keep the ball 
right there and then like push forward in the center and then make a pass so I can go back to the left for sure. Mm, it's tricky. And uh, I think last turn, you know, last turn I think he should have blitzed that lineman, right? If he'd blitzed with him, he would have got this player back to here. And then you'd have had a bit more. I can I understand he wants stuff upfield and he doesn't want to just keep retreating, but like, okay, so he is pushing this way still. He is pushing this way. If anything, I'd rather blitz the big and right because he's defenseless and you've got a mighty blow hit. So yeah. I, I don't like blitzing this blitzer. I think if I go this way, I blitz the big and. But uh, I didn't hate going up here and blitzing this guy because then that gives you this hit as well. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't have minded, as you said, yeah, going up with the left a little bit. Blitz this fella, yeah. block that guy. Uh, it seems a waste to not block either of these guys and like you just get your guys smashed. Smashed. Because he could, he could put that uh, guard, no. Well, yeah, he could put that guard in there and then mighty blow the orc right there and then push hard on the left side. I think that's what I would do. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah this like one, right yeah. There. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I, I like I like pushing up this side, yeah. But yeah. he's already moved two players over this Although side. Although the ball so. would yeah, the ball would still be not really defended there though. You're just having hope and a dream. Yeah, no, it's rough. It's really rough, yeah. It's it's so outrageously rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rotten. It's rotten for the dwarves here. I was so going nuts. All right, fair enough. It, it's overblown, by the way, the whole chance column thing. Like, it was really overblown. Like, often you want to stand in that column because it's one further square, further away for people to hit you. So, very common to want to stand there. I, I couldn't understand why they were so against it, to be honest. But that's the new thing from art. One of the new things from art is seeing how terrible chance column is. <laughs> A guard bigger, oh my god, that was that was from, that was from yesterday when Elliot just made a sentence of like this guard bigger can punch this guard bigger and that'll free up the guard bigger to go over there and hit that guard bigger and then maybe you can chain the guard bigger to the He's like literally put like six guard biggins in a sentence. And now we've only got two guard biggins, so <laughs> No, yeah, Lock Raiden's really running out of time. 141 on the time bank. He's running out of time on the time bank. T turns in the drive. It's just, it's all kinds of terrible for Lock Raiden here. Even though he's got a bit of luck with removals, that, that pitch invasion and, and the kick just killed him. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, He's got to change up his game a bit here, Lockridge, and he can't just, you know, he can't think that he's got a chance to win by playing safe, right? Like, he has to play like a lunatic. So, luckily, I've got the right person in the booth for such a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he should just drive up that left side, I'm telling you. It still looks pretty. It does. It's hard for him to reverse now, right? He's got, he's got five players on this side, five players on this side, and... The run in the middle, so he, he could, he's kept his options open, but also he's kind of fucked it because either way he goes is terrible now. <laughs> yeah, I would just collapse his three there, like up the middle to the left, and then just run the ball carrier up to the left and just say a prayer. Mm. Pour one you... out, you know. <laughs> he didn't get knocked over, so he's got half a chance. He's got half a chance here to move up the right. With this guy not going down, and this guy not getting not getting hit, so he he does actually have like two blocks he can make and a blitz he can make. So I think he's gonna push push up the right as best he can. But it's oh, it's so rough. It's so yeah. terrible for him. That's actually great for him, right? This is great for him because there's there's three like there's two players on one there. And three players and on the two. Yeah, stand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he, he definitely pushes right I now. I still say the lo Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I know. It's it's. It, I know what you're saying. Actually, right. I know what you're saying because he has got these two here, but I think he has to go right, and I think Davo thinks mm -hmm. he has to go right, and that's why he's probably kept those two so that he he can't go left. Right. If he if he'd moved one of those away, then he can switch to the left. But I think by keeping those two there, it forces him to go 
to the right, which is why he moved the, the thrower over here, knowing that he's going to go there in future. So maybe he could try. Maybe he could try to switch. Like if he switches, he's leaving four behind, right? And if he goes this way, he's leaving yeah. three behind. So I think, and he's got the two blocks here to make as well. Oh my God, he's he's going up the left. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I expect great things to come from this. <laughs> no. Not that. Oh, wait, yes, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, he's troll slayer blitzing. Yeah, this is... Uh, yep. It's something, isn't now, it? Now, this is beautiful. This, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to see. At this point... Just make something work. Just run the ball down. Pick side. Oh, God. Yeah, knocked him over. Oh, dear me. Yeah, Orcs are... Yeah, Dio didn't think Orcs were horrendous. I think Orcs are pretty horrendous for Dwarves. I, they're not as bad as Lizardmen are, but I, I still think they're pretty horrendous. Now they move, The movement of five is brutal. I know he wanted to push away, but he has to pal. He also hadn't moved the ball, so where's he going the second push? Like, fucking, he had to move the ball first, so he could have taken a double push to here. So he had to move the ball. Yeah, see, I don't mind that defense. It's, it's not good at all, but that's just <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> well, um... Because look at this chaos! Like, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> just punch everything. Just punch everything. Um, and keep keep them in front of you, right? Devo can just yeah. rotate around. Keep everything in front of him. Like, the time is just so on his side. Like, he's still deep inside his own half on turn five. It's it's horrendous. It, I mean, this block doesn't matter, right? Devo's starting with this, but it's irrelevant. He should have moved these two players first. Um, you know, depending on who he's going to blitz with. But you need to move safe moves first here. You have to... You have to do your safe moves. Don't let it slip like you're in such a dominant position. You know, Devo needs to be the safest, most boring person in the world. And and Lock Rage has to be the wildest lunatic in the world, basically. <laughs> yep. Yeah, get the frenzy across here. Yeah. Is basing in there good? Uh, oh, I guess he's going for a hit. Yeah, that yeah, does make sense. Probably, yeah. Devo needs to become Elliot, yeah. Devo needs to become how Artemis talks about Blood Bowl. Basically. What's that second dice roll after? Oh, is that for injuries? Yeah, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, okay. so what happens is with this game, all of the dice roll up on the screen at once and you've got no idea which, which order they're rolled in. So you have to Amazing. constantly check the the uh, thing to see what the hell's happening. Like this is okay because it's only the AV, but like if you do a sequence of like, you know, a dodge and two GFIs or something, then just like they all roll up in the wrong, in the wrong order and stuff and it's just a nightmare. A ranting madman. No, no, no. Elliot is very conservative. Artemis preaches peak conservatism when he's commentating on Blood Bowl, but then, of course, like everybody, he doesn't quite live up to it when he's playing. Because, uh, you know, funnily enough, when you're playing, it is quite easy to just do hits before you stand players up and stuff. But, um. Oh, is he going for the ball here? He might be going for ball contact. One in nine. Reroll gone. He could have followed and then blitzed that guy and then chained him out and then touched the ball. So I don't know what he's going to do instead. He hasn't blitzed yet. Don't know why he didn't follow there. That was a horrendous non-follow by Devo. Like, actually, just terrible. That was a terrible non-follow. Doesn't make any sense to not follow there. Was that hit with the guard? Yeah, yeah, the guard bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the guard bigger. Essential for yeah. Oh, he does the one D. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Death. Please no. Sad. <laughs> oh, dude. Ah, but the ball's once again on the end zone, or yep. fuck, on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the sideline. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 over now. Like it's it's not. No, 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 no. Because he could always pick up the ball, fail, doesn't reroll, it bounces all the way onto the other side of the pitch. He just needs to send someone up and run it down. <laughs> Oh, I want it to be true, but uh, <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it's going to take dwarves like the rest of the ha Like, it's so hard. Like, this guy standing up next turn then has to dodge and GFI to even be in range. Like, it's so hard for him to get anybody in range now. Yeah, and the runner's stun was just brutal. And, you know, it wasn't really Lockraigen's fault. There's, not, there's just nothing he could do here like the... The pitch invasion just killed the game from a bit like me versus Galentio, really. Uh, the pitch invasion, you know, almost killed my drive. Luckily, I was brilliant at Blood Bowl and able to uh, <laughs> able to have a chance. Big but, brain. Uh, <laughs> big brain Jim was able to salvage it. But also, that was versus uh, Pro Elves, right? If it had happened mm -hmm. versus Orcs, then, you know, I think anybody would have been in this horrendous situation. Just nothing. Really nothing he could have done. And nothing anybody could have done, I don't think. Yeah, and there's not really, like, Devo just needs to be oh. patient here and just play, right? There's not a reason to, like, pick the ball up and try and score because exactly. it doesn't benefit you in the long run, yeah. Yeah. This was terrible by Devo, by the way. He did that as if he was going to surf him, or as if he, he could have just put him on the sideline and surfed him this turn, so it was, that was a weird thing. I don't know if he was... Maybe he was thinking about surfing him last turn, which would have been terrible. So, um... That was weird. This guy should be on the sideline and getting surfed. Um, yeah, he just exactly. He's one nil up. It doesn't matter if you win one nil or two nil. So, so yeah, David just needs to play totally safe. Like he maybe even put the big one on this guy, right? So this guy's totally fucked. Stuff like that. Just, just knock down as many dwarves as you can every turn. Just keep on top of them. Yeah, looking real, real, real bad. You know, I, uh, so now what Devo might do is. Like a funky move to impress his followers. <laughs> That's the biggest danger for Devo at this point, right? Like this guy could blitz him, power him to there, then he could block, chain the big, chain the big in there, and then he could like you know do another block and then chain him to in you know like stuff like that. That's his biggest. That's his biggest weakness now. <laughs> he's doing a funky thing. Yeah, he's just doing the surf. I mean, you can surf two, right? You can do a blockless block and then run this guy around and surf, but he sh shouldn't have needed him. That's a mistake as well if he does that, because this guy should be... He needs somebody in front of this guy to stop him two plus, three plusing away. He absolutely, even if it's this blitzer, somebody has to be... There has to be here. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's always still a chance. It's not a good chance, but there's always... The game's not over until it's over. That's my philosophy. Exactly, yeah. You've you've got out. If if somebody has out, they have to play for them. And you have to play to cover them. If you're the one ahead. So yeah, Devo hundred percent um needs to cover this guy. And it's pretty terrible that he hasn't yet. He's just making blocks. He's just just a now but a greedy banger. <laughs> <laughs> he's making blocks and he's freed up a guy. You can't afford to leave free guys here. It's giving him yeah, so is he finally going to move this guy in the correct square? Or is he going for the surf? He can just lose the game. Now he's done it, oh, look. there we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Seven players moved. Right? Loads of dice rolled. And then finally, he does the safe move that he should have done at the start of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, am it's amazing, honestly. Like, you know, like Devo, one of the best players in Tabletop, one of the best players in Blood Bowl 2, one of the best players in Blood Bowl 3, one of the best players on Fumble. And yet still, we'll move seven players, roll loads of dice, and then do a super important, automatic, dice rollless move last. Crazy. Crazy that, like, that, 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 that's how bad we all are at Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. I feel like playing, definitely, I don't notice it as much, but then watching other people play, I really do see... Like all the little things like that. Hmm. Yeah, it is very one of the great things about Blood Bowl is it's it's much better to watch than play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh and yeah, you can pick up on all things like this and stuff, yep. Mm -hmm. One D pow. Mm, no, 
not anybody fluffy burrito and you shouldn't like you know you shouldn't you just shouldn't <laughs> like lock rage is making this block for god knows what reason you know god knows why he's doing this this blitzer went like blitzed him he should have double geified up to here right so he's got two blitzers on this one blitzer make this a 1d Lock Ragin has to play to his outs. Has to play to his outs, and he, he's not. He's got no scoring threats. This guy cannot score now. He, he can only go fourteen squares. He just, he just, he's just playing to lose one nil. <laughs> yeah, was it possible with three turns? Um, I guess including this one. So, sorry, pardon? Was it possible to score in, like, I guess with this turn and two more after this? Yeah, the, what he could have done was this blitzer who blitzed could have run up to here and then it's possible. But with without him going up there, it's just not possible because he only has one player in scoring range right now, which is this guy who's about to get two dice blocked. Yeah. So, like, okay. he has one player... The 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 thrower the the runner has to GFI here. He literally has to GFI. There's no choice. It's a terrible square to stand in. But if he's not, he cannot score. <laughs> so the runner has to GFI here. Oh, also by the way, they're not GFIs. They're rushes. Ah. Yeah. Why does he have to move up there? Uh, because otherwise he's not in range. Because <laughs> it's thirteen squares to the end zone, and then it's three squares mm. here. So like oh, because he, he you're saying without without a pass, like he has to well yeah he's gonna score with that player yeah yeah he's only got yeah, literally okay, two players okay. that can score, two players yeah, that can possibly okay. score, and so this guy had to get yeah he either had to blitz he had to one d blitz with him and run away which is you know a, a reasonable thing to do, or this guy who blitzed had to go and assist here so he'd have two players and then he'd have to blitz one and block one see look he's done quite well, he's done quite well. If he'd done the right blitz, right? If he'd done the right blitz, and he had two guard on this guy, how does Devo, like you know, sort it out? He could have, yeah. he could have won this game if he just put that blitzer here. He just did it wrong. My God, that's unbelievable. If he, if he double geified, he could have got up here. And if he's got the two blitzers there, he can totally. I don't see how Devo, Devo probably has to blitz this guy and run, run the big and back. Just a base and stuff like you. It, it, it's terrible for Dave or if if he if he got these two guard up. But now without the two guards, he blitzes and then he blocks this guy and it's easy. Or or he hits the ball. He could. No, is there an easy way to blitz the ball here? Um. I guess if he pushes or is there a chain right there? I can't. I'm really bad at staying though. <laughs> it's not easy for him, I don't think. No, no, I don't think it is easy. This is pretty, pretty decent. I mean, there's, I guess there's still a chance, right? If he doesn't, if he doesn't hit the ball, there's a chance the ball just makes four GFIs. Yeah. I think he oh, just blocks people. Oh, and I love the fun. GFIs. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, 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 I know this is gonna work. It's gonna work, Jim. You know it's going to. <laughs> I know it'd work against me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it's going to work versus Tapo. But, uh, yep. Does he have rerolls left? Oh, yeah, he changed the ball back. Yeah, so he can't hit the ball, but he can just chain it back. Mm. So now this guy can't score. So now there's only one guy who can possibly score for the Dwarves. And he can block him, and then he can double GFI, but instead he's making irrelevant hits. So yeah, he he blocks that him. That was weird, right? Yeah, that was really weird. He yeah. blocks him, he double GFIs and he hits him and then it's safe. He didn't need the assist at all. He's making another irrelevant block. I really don't know why. Gets the push there, which is all he needed. And... Double GFI. And then he makes the critical block. 
And that's it, GG. Nice. Game over. And imagine if he'd had another another blitter here. With a stun. Yeah, that is that is GG. GG, yeah. We do have to wait for the end of the match now. <laughs> but hopefully they'll be quick. Hopefully they'll be quick. So there you go. Yeah, we did we did all we all predicted this. We ended up with about six people predicting matches and uh we all predicted Dave ought to win. But um I think he got very lucky, honestly. I think uh you know that the the pitch invasion just won him the game, right? Like if he hadn't had that pitch invasion yeah. with these he was obviously unlucky to take these these removals. But these removals without a pitch invasion, you know, he probably loses. Like he's got a good chance to lose in overtime. But uh the pitch invasion just killed it. Killed it for him. Uh, killed it for Lock Raging. Uh what teams are people using, I guess? Like I, I recognize like dwarves and orcs and skaven. Are there any new teams or oh, or is it just uh sorry? <laughs> uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Lizards. Lizards. Yeah. What other thing? <laughs> um, there are there are new there are new t there are new teams in Blood Bowl, including Dimmy's favorite, which is knobs. Knobs. Yeah, Imperial Nobility, which we uh, which we called Knobs for short, and then obviously so now Dimmy just talks about Knobs all day. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he, Dimmy loves Knobs. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? could he could he score? The Troll Slayer pushes there, pushes there, and he pushes there. And then he pushes there. So if he had like a million more players <laughs> that he doesn't have... It's possible. <laughs> it's possible, yeah. But I, he can't fill this square, I don't think. He would have had like 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus dodge. And then he could have pushed and the player that's No, he doesn't have to. Yeah, chance. no, he does, yeah. Right. Yeah, no, no. So what? what he, this is what he had to do, right? He had a 6 plus dodge to here. And then the Troll Slayer put, punched this lineman. Then punch this long beard. Um... <laughs> To there, and then don't move this guy somewhere to there. Then he blocks him to here, and then this guy can block him and chain him forward. So it was it was technically possible if he had like made a bunch of ridiculous dodges. It was technically yeah. I never would have seen that in time. Yeah, no, and obviously he ran out of time as well. So yeah, yeah. Renegades, Black Orcs, and Knobs. They are the three new teams. Um, so Renegades aren't really new, but then they're, they're new compared to Blood Bowl Two. Um, they're like human linemen and three big guys. You might like them actually. <laughs> it's like a minute. big guys on my human team. I do like my humans, although everyone got mad at me for playing with humans. <laughs> <laughs> humans aren't terrible. Humans got a bit better now, honestly. Um, but yeah, they're like human linemen, and then they get a dark elf lineman, they get an orc lineman, they get a skaven lineman, and they get like a minotaur, a ogre and a troll so like you know they're kind of they're fun they're fun they're not they're not great but they're fun sometimes and um have you seen the new napoleon movie i haven't no i heard it was terrible oh. so i didn't watch it oh there's some good memes in there <laughs> i liked it there's mm. some really good memes in there you think you're so great because you have boats <laughs> <laughs> good memes <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> um, yeah no no i i heard it was rubbish so i was like oh. you know i quite like napoleon so i thought i don't want to see i don't want to see him just turned into a meme an idiotic meme but maybe maybe it would have been funny it was really funny in my opinion although mm. it took me off guard by or yeah whatever the right saying is that I can't think of right now because my brain's not working um, a couple times. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, on that bombshell, there was a, there was a nice little mini review of Napoleon. <laughs> 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 um, commiserations, Lock Ragen, who, uh, you know, loses for the second time. And congratulations to Andy Davo, who goes through with a sterling 3 and all record. Um, Got away with that one, thanks to the uh, pitch invasion. Thank you very much for joining me in the booth, Tren. Glorious to have you back involved yeah. in Blood Bowl. Yep. Thank you, thank you. I'll be back.
Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>